Hello everyone, my name is Hitesh and I welcome you all to TradeBrain's YouTube channel. Now before moving on, if you are new to this channel, please comment, like and subscribe to our videos. So as and when we publish new content, you get the notification straight onto your device. Now this video is very interesting one because it's going to be catering to a lot of the current problems which are being faced by first time mutual fund investors. And in this time of pandemic that is COVID-19, a lot of people are willing to invest their money because the markets have come down and they're getting fairly reasonable price to invest in the market. But the problem which still encounters everyone is that how should I invest? How do I choose a fund to invest? So through this video, I'll be explaining what exactly is a blue chip investment or what exactly is a blue chip fund how to invest in a blue chip fund, how to choose a blue chip fund, what exactly does a blue chip fund mean and how safe or how risky is it to choose a blue chip fund. So let us begin our discussion right into that. So before moving on, let us understand what exactly does a blue chip fund means. A blue chip term is generally used to explain a well established and financially strong companies. So basically these are the companies which have a very very strong cash backing, which have very low debt in the market, which are performing really well in the market over a series of years over a period of time. These are the companies which are generally termed as blue chip companies. To give you an example, all the nifty 50 companies or the top 100 companies which are trading in the nifty index or the equity market are termed as the blue chip companies. Similarly, a blue chip fund is a fund which invests in these kind of blue chip companies. So to make a fund as a blue chip fund, the fund manager or the company managing your fund that is the asset management company will have to invest the money which has been taken from the investors in this blue chip companies. These are basically the top performing companies in the Indian equity market. As per the SEBI norms, that is the Security and Exchange Board of India norms, blue chip companies will have to invest 80% of their total portfolio in top 100 companies or by market capitalization. So what we mean by that is, if supposedly a mutual fund has a total asset under management of 100 crore rupees, then they have to invest a money of 80 crore rupees in these blue chip companies, that is the top 100 companies in terms of market capitalization. So the next question which comes to everyone's mind is like who should invest in the blue chip funds. So basically these are the funds which are more for people who want stable return but yet they don't want to take more risk. When I say stable return they are okay with the returns of about 10, 12, 13 to 14 percent kind of returns and they don't want to expose their money to higher risk. They are basically risk averse investors. So for those kind of investors, blue chip companies are the best form of investment because the investment go goes into top notch firms. To give you an example, most of the blue chip companies invest their money in the HDFC Bank, Reliance Industries, TCS, Infosys, all these companies that is the big companies which are big in terms of performance and in terms of market capitalization also are being invested into by blue chip mutual funds. So through this video, I'll be trying to explain why should one invest in blue chip funds. What is the criteria of selecting a mutual fund? We have also given recommendation for a few blue chip funds. So what is the rational behind us selecting those kind of blue chip funds? We'll understand the best blue chip funds to invest in. We'll also understand the importance of fund manager. Now each and every fund is being managed by a person or by a group of people and those people are called fund managers. And these fund managers are very pivotal for any fund's performance because they are the one who decide where the money goes in. So depending on the performance or the quality of fund manager, blue chip mutual fund also performs. And we'll also understand what exactly does a fund performance means. We all must have heard the terminology like this fund is performing well, this fund is performing, underperforming, or this fund is not performing that great. So we have to understand what exactly does that mean. Through this video, I'll be trying to clarify those doubts also. So why should one invest in a blue chip fund? Now that we all keep talking, we should all put money in blue chip fund, blue chip fund is the future. But the question which we should all ask is that why should I invest in blue chip funds? So the first rationale behind investing in a blue chip fund is the growth and stable returns. Now if you're investing in a blue chip fund, you're investing in companies which are very stable by nature. So, so when I say stable, what I'm trying to say is that the share prices movements are very, very, very rational. They move in a certain direction based on certain news or based on certain factors which are which have rational drawing towards them. So based on those rational and based on those justification, these kind of funds are giving you stable returns. And with the help of investing in blue chip funds, they give you dividends and capital appreciation. So what happens is capital appreciation happens is as in when the fund starts making money. And in general, most of the blue chip funds give you low returns, but they give you consistent and stable returns over a period of time. Now, as I've already mentioned that all the blue chip funds have to have 80% of the money invested in the top 100, top 100 companies of equity markets. 
which also gives us a direction and sense about the health of the economy if those 100 companies are performing well which means the index or the indian economy is doing well in general so with the help of investment or the performance in blue chip funds we get a fair idea as to how the economy is performing and as the money invested in the blue chip funds are mostly into equity kind of equity stocks the the blue chip mutual funds are also eligible for a capital gains tax and one important disclaimer or one important factor to understand is that blue chip investments are not for short term investors these are not for people who are willing to invest for 6 to 12 months these are for people who want to invest for over a series of years over a series of time they may be for 3 years 5 years 8 years 10 years depending on the objective which you with which you invest this blue chip funds are meant for those kind of people it's basically for people who want to invest their money for long term now the next question which comes to everyone's mind is that what is the criteria for selecting a mutual fund as in why or how should i pick a mutual fund so we have devised a strategy strategy based on eight factors we'll be explaining each and every factor right now the first being the parent company now each and every mutual fund is run under a asset management company so the performance of that aum or the asset management company has a lot of bearing on the performance of the blue chip fund so we have to look at the quality of the company which is being managing the blue chip fund and if the funds under that parent company have been doing well which gives us a fair judgment that even the blue chip fund should also be doing well the second important factor to consider is the asset under management now it is a known fact that bigger the amount of asset under a under a blue chip fund we can have a fair understanding or we can have a fair judgment based on that the fund must have performed well over a series of time because if the firm fund is not performing well people will not have the confidence to invest their money in that kind of fund so bigger the size of the asset under management it gives us a more confidence that the fund should also be doing well now the next cat the next important factor is the percentage share in the category so what does this mean that the the category here is the whole blue chip fund market or is the, all the mutual funds which comprise the blue chip mutual fund are are put under this category so depending on your share that is depending on the share of one particular mutual fund say take for example could be an axis blue chip fund or hdfc blue chip fund depending on their categorical share we can have a fair idea that if the certain fund is about 10 to 12% of the whole market it gives us a fair understanding that people have more confidence in uh, that kind of mutual fund and it and it augurs well for the objective of the investor the next being the expense ratio now what is expense ratio expense ratio is the is the cost which, which is incurred by a asset under management or mutual fund firm for managing your fund these expense ratio includes the fund manager's fees and all the other administrative and operational expenses which are being incurred by the mutual fund so lower the expense ratio it is always advisable to invest in those kind of mutual funds because the cost to manage those funds will lesser and as we have already mentioned that in general the blue chip funds have a return of about 10 to 12% so even a half a percent of saving on the expense ratio could in could in long term means a lot of money being saved by the investors the next being the annualized return now this is very important factor the first thing which i have told you that the blue chip investments are though for those kind of people who want to invest over a series of years that is over a period of time so we have to understand what is the annualized return of 3 years 5 years 7 years 10 years how is it doing compared to the whole category and in comparison to peers also so if it's doing better there then these fund that that particular fund is better to invest compared to other fund and portfolio distribution now this factor is important see we all understand that these these mutual funds that is a blue chip mutual fund companies invest their money in the top 100 companies now we have to understand within the top 100 companies how is the portfolio being segregated or distributed is the company having a large bundle of portfolio is the company having a small bundle of portfolio because if a company has a small bundle of portfolio then the com- the portfolio has a very very good chance of giving you variable returns but if the portfolio size is big which means the movement of the portfolio will be in line with the index so the portfolio size has a lot of impact in understanding the fund's performance the next being the risk factor that is the standard deviation or the beta so standard deviation or beta basically explain the kind of risk which is taken or the kind of volatility which is going to be there in the performance of the fund over a period of time so a mutual fund with high standard deviation or higher higher beta always are more volatile compared to the funds which have low standard deviation and low beta so it, so it is always advisable to invest your money in funds which have low de- low beta or low standard deviation and the last last and the most important factor being the rating by rating agencies now these ratings are provided by various rating agencies like the crisel rating agency or the value search rating agencies so and these rating agencies have a lot of criteria or factor in giving rating to this particular mutual fund 
So higher rating provided to a particular mutual fund generally means that the fund is doing well and the performance over the past three to four years has been very good by that particular mutual fund. Now these are some of the mutual funds which have been recommended by us. This is all. This is just a recommendation by our firm. It doesn't mean that you have to invest in that. But according to our judgment and criteria, these are the funds which are performing well in the blue chip sector. The first being the Axis Blue Chip Fund. Here, the asset under management, which is about fourteen and a half thousand crores, which is about ten point three percent of the category, which is actually very high. And the fund has been fund has got a lot of confidence of the investors. It has got a very low expense ratio of zero point four three percent, which is the least in the least in its category. And it gives you analyzed return of about ten to ten. 0.27%. The portfolio distribution is very beautifully done because it's got money in equity investment, debt factors, and the other factors being the fixed deposits in the other other banks. And the beta rating also is very low because it's got a volatility factor of 0.74 only, which means the fund's performance doesn't vary too much. It's got a rating by rating agency Crisil of five star, which means the rating agency is rating it very high as the performance over the last three years has been very good. And similarly, if I were to take the example of Myra Asset Emerging Blue Chip Fund, got uh, even that's got a very healthy asset under management of about ten and a half thousand crores, and it's got an expense ratio of one point six seven seven six percent. It's slightly on the higher side, but it's compared to the whole industry, it's still on the lower side. The annualized return is a very good factor here because it's got a return of more than twelve percent, which means the investors have been getting a very very fruitful and profitable return on their investments. And plus, even that's got a rating agency of five star. So these four funds of the Axis Blue Chip Fund, Kotak Blue Chip Fund, Myra Asset Emerging Blue Chip Fund, and the Canada Tobacco Blue Chip Equity Fund are the funds which have been recommended by us, and because of the various factors which we mentioned, and they are one of the top performers in their category. Two other notable mentions here are. The SPI Blue Chip Fund and the ICICI Potential Blue Chip Fund, even though the annualized return is on the lower side and the expense ratio is also slightly on the higher side, but these are the funds which are being backed by big fund houses like the SPI Mutual Fund and the ICICI Pro Life. So, what does that do? It gives a lot of confidence on the, from the investors that the money is safer, and they have the highest asset under management in the category of twenty-two thousand crores and twenty-four thousand crores respectively. Now the next important factor we have to understand in any mutual fund is the fund manager. The fund manager is the most vital cog in the wheel. He is the one who, upon whose performance the fund performance is dependent. He is the one who decides where the money goes, how does the money goes. So let us understand what exactly does the fund manager do. So fund manager is someone who is responsible for formulating and implementing the fund strategy. Supposedly, if I am someone who is going to invest in a blue chip fund and I pick up a certain or particular mutual fund, say take for example I pick up the Axis Blue Chip Fund. So the fund manager of that fund has a most important role or vital role in deciding where the money goes. He implements and formulates the strategy based on his judgment and his experience, and upon upon then the fund performs. Now the fund manager is responsible for meeting regulatory and reporting requirements. Now this is very important part of mutual fund because as in when the money is being managed by a fund manager, he is liable to have a proper record of where the money has gone, how the money has gone, where the investment has gone, if someone has exited the investment, how the investment exist exited, and where is the fund again being reinvested. All these important documents have to be available and and all the data have to be documented with by the fund manager and has to be approved by him. As and when an investor wants to have a certain query about it, he can directly write his query to the asset management company, and he has to re- reply back by the fund manager. So he is the most responsible factor for meeting the funds and re- funds regulatory and report requ- requirements. He is responsible for monitoring the growth and performance of the fund. This goes without saying that the fund manager is the one who is the soul and heart of the any mutual fund company. So he is also responsible for monitoring the growth. If the fund is doing well or the fund is not doing well, it all comes upon the fund manager's strategy. The next important factor being the proven track record. Now this is important because a person who has got experience in a certain category, he is always expected to do better than the person who has got less experience. So his track record, his performance over a period of time, plays a vital role in deciding how a fund will perform over a period of time. And the next being investing style. Now. All the blue chip fund have a similar interest of providing stable returns to their stakeholders or the investors, but each and every fund manager have their own investing styles. Certain fund fund manager invest only in very strong financial companies or very strong value driven companies, and certain fund managers invest in slightly mid cap fund or a medium to large funds. And they all have a common goal of in generating regular continuous return. So investing style of each and every fund manager varies from manager to manager. 
and the next important factor which we'll be discussing is how to evaluate a fund's performance now that we have understood what is a mutual fund what is a blue chip fund what are the different kinds of blue chip fund what is a fund manager's role we also have to understand that how does one evaluate the fund's performance so first being the risk adjusted return that is against the risk risk taken by the fund manager what is the return which is being generated by the fund if that satisfies what the industry is doing and if that satisfies the goal or the portfolio goal of the investor then it is the best fund to invest for the any investor now the next being the benchmark performance if the benchmark under consideration is doing well and if the fund is doing even better than that then it is advisable to invest in that kind of fund because it is always going to outperform the benchmark the next factor being the performance against peers now this is very critical here because if i were to give the example of just blue chip fund there are more than 100 blue chip funds which are there in the market so we have to see what is the average performance of the category and if i am beating the category performance and if i am beating the performance of my peers then that fund is always advisable to invest in because that's always going to outperform the industry competitors next being quality of portfolio i have always told that different managers have their different investing style so the quality of portfolio that is the shares which are being invested in goes a long way in deciding the fund's performance and the next being the fund manager performance so if a manager or the fund performs well it's a simple thing it's very understandable thing to say that the fund is always going to outperform the market and it's always going to give a stable and good returns to the investors I hope this video was informative and it gave you a fair idea about what exactly is a blue chip fund how do I select a blue chip fund what is a fund manager's role what are different kind of blue chip funds which are there in the market right right now I hope it gave you a clear understanding if you have any more doubts please post your queries on the comment section I'll be very glad to answer I thank you for your patient hearing I'll see you in the next videos about more financial education thank you